For centuries, quilts have been more than just colorful blankets stitched from scraps of cloth. They're often heirlooms that tell rich stories about the lives and traditions of families past and present. Stitch by stitch, a quilt is a patchwork of love. Love from a mother to her child. The love of a hobby that is passed through generations. The love for family. This year in Tallahassee, this love is at the center of the 26th annual Capital City Quilt Show with the theme, Our Lives in Fabric. Uh, for the past many years, uh, the Museum of Florida History has been partnering with Quilters Unlimited of Tallahassee to bring this beautiful show to Tallahassee. Uh, every year we have uh, various quilts, different quilts. It's never the same show. This exhibit features 67 quilts of different sizes, colors, and materials. Like these. Believe it or not, they're made of wood. And you have to get very close and look at them very, very closely to know that they are actually wooden carvings and not fabric quilts. Melissa Gross and other members of the Tallahassee group Quilters Unlimited stitched many of these quilts, piecing together more than just cloth and creativity. It's a, a great collection of women that uh, come together to study quilting. Um, you know, contributing to the community, uh, getting together in fellowship, and, and shared interest in, in quilting. Threaded throughout each work are the bonds of family history and relationships to reflect the show's theme. Sometimes within a family, you look at a, even a, just a piece of material in a quilt, and you know where that came from, or you know what was happening in your life at that time. And you know, there are quilts here that people made as they were sitting at, you know, the bedside of someone who was ill, um, you know, or they made it for a wedding. I slept under the quilts that my great grandmother made during uh, the Depression. Charlotte Root has been sewing quilts for over 25 years. So you pick out your fabric and you take it home and you plan it out and you cut your pieces for whatever design you want to have. And the designs can range from the elegant to the extraordinary. And um, it presents sort of an optical illusion. If you look at the, the orange in the middle, what you'll see is fish. And if you look at the white, if you just focus your eyes on the white, you'll see birds and guests have been flocking to see this exhibit for years. I think it's probably one of our most popular exhibits throughout the year. Uh, we have folks coming from South Alabama, South Georgia, all over North Florida every year. Some of the same people to see these, this show each and every year. This is the second year Elena Rakestraw has come here. I'm amazed at how beautiful they are and how they come up with all of the ideas and since I'm new to it, I'm amazed at all of the work that goes into them. But these lavish designs aren't only for display. They're also shared with those who may need it most. Where there's a need, we try, we try to step in and, and do that. Uh, a lot of the quilters make quilts for the preemie unit at Tallahassee Memorial Hospital. Um, that's one very popular um, effort that we undertake. We've also made quilts for the soldiers in Iraq. Um, and that, that's, been a, <laughs> that's been a really satisfying project as well. Well, this quilt was made by one of our uh, philanthropic groups, the McQuilters, and they make things to benefit fit the Ronald McDonald House. Visitors can own a piece of the exhibit by bidding in a silent auction or by entering a raffle for this quilt called the Opportunity Quilt. But can the tradition of quilt making last in today's modern world of fast food, self-service, and high tech? I think, you know, there's high tech, but there's also high touch. <laughs> and I think everybody needs the high touch part too. We don't want to get rid of that. I think everybody should at least try to make a quilt. They become keepsakes. Uh, they're treated as precious uh, art items and they're oftentimes displayed in the home and many times they're kept and protected and handed down from generation to generation. So with each new quilt, a new tradition of love is stitched into the fabric of their lives. For Dimensions, I'm John Rogers.
The Capital City Quilt Show at the Florida Museum of History ends on October the 28th. And also on that day, the auction will be closed and the winner of the Opportunity Quilt will be notified.